Greetings, this is Gynthian, and at the end of my last episode, I died. Today we are on the Kingdom Chronicles server, and I'm going to start off by replacing my armor, and then going and working on the Enderman farm so that it can be fixed, because it is currently not working. The Endermite above the farm disappeared and an Endermite is required to attract the Enderman. I admittedly don't know how it works, this is just what I've managed to figure out by looking at it. Yes, this is the same farm that I lost my god armor on, and uh, I'm just gonna create a quick set of iron armor, and I'll meet you at the Enderman farm. Here we are at the end, and we are gathering up some experience points. I have 25 levels, and I'm going to need at least 30 to do an enchant, or at least check the enchants. I brought books for everything else. Also, a gold sword. If you put mending on it, it lasts forever. Especially when at an Enderman farm. So that's cool. I love the sound of experience. It's just relaxing. Takes a minute. Oh, there we go. This is so much better than trying to do pigment. except for when they escape from the farm and kill you anyway. 32 levels. Just a little bit more. 33 levels. Okay. Let's go enchant this iron armor. And I paid for the use of this enchanting room. Got my pass. So let's take advantage of it. If we get some free lapis. Put it in. Check this on breaking three. Not bad. Not great. Fire protection three. Protection three. Depth strider two. That's tempting. Depth Strider is just awesome to have. I think I'm going to go with the protection. Cool. Ooh. And Unbreaking and Thorns. Very cool. And I should still have more than 30 levels. Protection 4. Yeah, that'll work. And Unbreaking 3. Gotta love that. And I drop below level 30. And it's at unbreaking 3, so... Well, we can use the books. Let me take a minute and repair this bow. And remember, as always, I want to help you enjoy watching or playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is the first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I've produced videos. I need some more levels. Uh-oh. I... There are no more Endermen. It appears the farm just broke. Well, I kept investigating for a while and I can't figure this out. 
but I did learn one thing. If you look above the farm, and then you take some time and very carefully look inside of this minecart, you will see that there is no longer a endermite. You wouldn't know it, but there was earlier. This could have something to do with why things aren't working. Uh, I think I'm going to head home for now, and we'll talk about this more later. Okay, I, some things happened that interrupted my plans. Roscoe came online and offered to let me use his villagers to pick up a set of armor. An armorer, if I'm saying that right, uh, produces or can trade for diamond armor. And so I've got a set of that, and I'm going through the process of removing the crappy enchants so that I can put better ones on down the road. This is a stone cutter. This is the wrong tool. <laughs> Let me go get the right one. I want a grinder. That's what I want to use. I'm not going to use this armor yet, but uh, I've got it. Okay, that's working a lot better. I even get experience points for removing the enchantments that are already there. So each time I put one of these pieces of armor in and then take it out of the right side, I get experience and the enchantments are removed. So, win-win. This is the last one. But these enchantments aren't horribly bad. Should I leave them on here or take them off? I really, yeah, I'm going to take them off. I think I'm going to take them off. And then I can use fresh enchants if there is such a thing as fresh when I'm ready. This is the Enderman farm, and I had started to put water across the top. Turns out I have been requested to finish that process. To get that to work, I have to first start off by reshaping it, and remo so that means removing the two middle blocks and replacing them with half slabs at the right level. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to go through the long process of putting the water in. All of this is so the top of the walkway that is now there will be covered with water and the Enderman won't spawn on it. Okay, let's speed this up even more. As far as actual game time, this took a while. I just get to speed it up in editing. Another thing I got from Roscoe was some saplings for the fir tree, and I used them to create something for Mir, another kingdom owner on this server. So I'm going to show you a time lapse of what I created. Let's do that now. I wanted to create a really large tree for Mir since he showed random how to create a custom tree watching Random's video. Please keep in mind that this my, is my first attempt at a really huge tree. And here we are again. I will save you the long drawn out details of what my decision process is and what I was deciding to work on and just show you the following. You know, before I actually did this, I did save my mending pick and axe in my ender chest before walking out and building this walkway. And as this was happening, I was actually pretty happy with how far I was able to build this. I actually made some good progress on the walkway out to a future build. But then, of course, the gas had to come up. Mm -hmm. 
So like I said, this outcome was not completely unanticipated. When you play with lava, you get burned. So I'm going to whip me up some new armor. Maybe I'll try gold armor instead of iron. Anyway, I want to show you something else that I decided to build. I have clerics as villagers, and they need a place to live. This is the newest addition to the village. It is a church for the clerics. It's a modest church, not that large. But I did manage to build a giant stained glass window. All nicely lit up so mobs don't spawn in the dark. Let's take a look at this side. And then we'll swing down by the front and take a look inside. Have to have high vaulted ceilings. And those are pews, not beds. Wink, wink. Then let me show you what it looks like as it gets dark. That's all I have time for in today's video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.